guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be an imats haul video um i recently went this past weekend and let me just say that was nothing short of amazing i had such a great time and by the looks of it i did quite the damage um so i definitely want to show you guys what i got what um good sales they were having there and what I personally loved so I will go ahead and get started so the first thing I got um stopped by LC Cosmetics um I did meet um Lilith the owner of LC and she was so sweet I loved her she was so beautiful it's like these girls you see them all the time on Instagram or social media and then you see them in person it's just like wow you're gorgeous <laughs> I picked up the Glow Enhancer Dry Face Oil. This one's more so um, like uh, oil you place on your or you put on your face before your makeup. Their setup was so beautiful, and I just had to stop by. So next place that I stopped is Mamie's. I had been watching um, since Friday like what they were having at the Pro Night, so I could see what I could get when I was there. So I was very excited that Artist Couture was there because I've been dying to try them. Dying. And I actually picked up two of the Artist Couture uh, Diamond Glow Powders. One is in the shade Conceited and the other one is in the shade Illuminati. And let me tell you, these highlighters are freaking beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. They're, I'm obsessed. They, they look like this very pretty packaging and then they're um loose powders so it has the little shifters in there so that it doesn't make that much of a mess which i personally love because these powders i can tend to steer away from them because of the fact that they're so messy but i love that they're very nice they have the shifters in there so that they don't move around so the illuminati is more of a champagne color and conceited is more of a um like rose gold Pretty, very pretty colors I will say they are beautiful I can't wait to try them I'm obsessed with highlighters if you know me you already know this <laughs> but um, I can't wait to try them and I was super excited when I saw that they had a little booth there now the next place I stopped at was friends beauty this place I had I was watching a lot of vlogs and like hauls to last year's I'm at so I was doing my research on where to go and I'm glad I went here um, they have a lot of good stuff like Z palettes and um, what is it beauty blender packs and like all these really good things so I picked up um, what they're famous for is their packs of beauty blenders um, so this pack here comes with three full-size beauty blenders and the mini and a little cleanser and that was all $35 which I thought was really good because for one freaking beauty blender it's like 20 bucks it's pretty expensive but I mean I love my beauty blenders so see here it comes with full-sized and then this little mini one I always joked around <laughs> about these mini ones because I'm like what are you gonna use these for like I don't see the point but I guess if you now that I have one I can test it out and see if I really need it or if that's just another impulse buy but I was very happy to get more beauty blender then I picked up I've been wanting to try this so much um, because I how much people rave about this product so I got the Arsenia May no color powder looks like salt <laughs> this packaging really throws me off but it's um, I hear a lot of good things about it so I can't wait to try it a lot of people rave about it so we'll see what the hype is about these were ten dollars each so i just picked up two because in case i love it i don't want to have to wait and order online so figured might as well just get two while i'm there now the next thing i got is a ellie maya and brush and shampoo conditioner looks like this smells heavenly I needed something to clean my brushes I figured I'd try something new see if this works a little bit better and go from there I definitely loved going there because I knew I was going to go to that to get beauty blenders now the next place I stopped at um, I just saw that they had a lot of good you know sales this place was offering three for ten this jcat beauty I'm obsessed with this bag it's so glittery and so cute so I stopped there and I had seen like some makeup gurus um, rave about some of their products so I just picked up some stuff that they talk about the most so one thing I bought is 
is the Flash Metal Metallic Lip Waterproof Color. This one is in the shade FM114. And this one was so pretty. Like, I, I am obsessed. Because this was just beautiful. Like, if you can see that. It's really metallic-y, very pretty. I, I died for this. I was really looking for something that had that metallic lip, so I love it. It's so pretty. Can't wait to try this on. Then I picked up some loose, some sparkling, sparkling powder. I can't read what it says. Yeah, sparkling powder in the number 220 and 216. I just thought these would be fun to play with. Um, one's more like a brownish bold color which is really really pretty and then this gold or this teal blue like very nice color so i picked this one up too even though i don't really play with bright colors but figured it'd be fun to have so got these two all of that was three for ten so that's why i just stopped picked up three things figured for ten bucks it won't harm me to try something new the next place that I stopped at was Sugar Pill. I was obsessed with their booth. It was so cute, so out there, but it's definitely that brand. I've seen them like all over social media as well and I've never tried them, but I figured why not? So that's the packaging, very cute, very like glittery and pretty. And I got the shade Trinket. This color, you guys, is so beautiful. It's like, it looks like it's like a mauve nude color and it is but it has flakes of gold in it so when you rub it or like you do anything to it that color just starts to pop out and it's so beautiful you can see so this is trinket right here this one is so so pretty when i was wiping it away with the wet wipe like all this gold just started to come out it's like oh my gosh yes i need this <laughs> i've seen it on a lot of people but i figured i'd try it on myself i'm obsessed it's so freaking pretty i love it i can't wait to try this on my lips as well i was able to get some art this ardell lash lookbook um this one was i thought was really neat it was 20 bucks i want to say and it comes with all these different styles very nice to have and it comes from like very natural to very dramatic very wispy so I thought that was really cool and for 20 bucks and it comes with a little mini white adhesive I personally like the black one but it's all good I'll still use it and it has like kind of like the styles on the back so very neat little book that I thought was pretty cute so that was nice just picked that up I didn't have a bag for well they did have bags but IMATS provides these big old bags, so we were just throwing our stuff in there. The next brand I went to was Dose of Colors. I am obsessed with them. I, You guys know from my first video, I raved about their palettes. Their eyeshadows are so freaking good. They're so pigmented, so I had to stop by there. That was the first place we went in. Um, my mom and I, we went and stopped there, and that was, that was great. I just, I loved it. I loved it all. So the first thing I got was the Supreme Glow um, Highlighter in the shade Gold is the New Black. And this one recently launched, I want to say like a month ago, and I was so obsessed because it's just, it's so in my alley of what I love, and highlighters, again, can never go wrong. So this is the packaging on it. Super, super pretty. Um, super sleek, fancy, and then voila. That is the highlighter. Can you? Can we just take a moment of silence for how beautiful this thing is? Just have it on earth, getting new highlighters. So, it's right underneath this one. So it's a very pretty gold color and I'm obsessed. I can't wait to put this on my face because it's just so pretty, so shiny, and I'm obsessed. So very cute packaging. I will give it to Anna that she has the cutest packaging because it's just so sleek. So the next things I picked up um, was a lip gloss in the shade Bellini. This one is like a very pretty, um, like pinkish nude, but it has gold reflex in it as well. I don't know what it was with this trip that I was obsessed with the gold reflexed um, colors, but very pretty. You can see right there, it has that like pinky orange undertone but it has that gold reflex in it very pretty to like put in the center of the lips i did try this today and 
I'm of course obsessed. I love it. Dosal Colors never fails me, ever. That's why I love them so much. And then a lipstick that I bought. I have their liquid lipstick, so I just wanted to try one of each as far as like their lipstick, their lip gloss, and their highlighter. So I just went and grabbed one of each because I already had their eyeshadows. I know those are good. The matte uh, liquid lipsticks, those are really good too. I love her liquid lipsticks. And then um, just wanted to try everything else. So I went ahead and picked that up. So the dose of colors um lipstick in poise so this was the color that i bought as far as the lipstick i thought this was really pretty i'm wearing it today as well and it pairs very pretty with that like um with that lip gloss too so i was really really impressed all of her stuff never fails me though like i said can't i mean i did try this today on my lips loved it beautiful color so I can't wait to try the highlighter. The highlighter was the only thing I didn't put on today, but I can't wait. I know she's not going to fail me. And the thing that I loved about her booth is that she gave away these free Dose of Colors um, Powerful Pink Lip Duo. This was really cute. I thought this was so awesome. So I give you this gift with your purchase. Super cute. It comes with a lipstick and a lip gloss. And I'll show you the colors. Personally, I think these will probably be too bright for me, but it's still really really pretty so the packaging is like this has a little breast cancer um, logo in there and then it has this pretty color in it so like I said maybe too pink for me but still it's just super cute and thoughtful that she did that I met her as well and she's so sweet she's so beautiful it's like oh I can't but yeah. and then the lip gloss wand which is probably really pretty but yeah, that was a really pretty sheer color. So I really like this one. And it has the same breast cancer ribbon there as well. So I thought this was really cute that they threw that in for free. The next place I stopped at was Joy Cosmetics. I've seen a lot of makeup gurus rave about their products. So I just wanted to try a couple things out, especially their lip topper. I was really going for um, the skinny dip lip topper, but that one was sold out by the time I got to the booth. So I picked up some other ones instead. So first one I got, um, well, the lip topper, it was in the shade, the shade of youth? Frostbite. So it's this pretty like white, um, iridescent type of color and it's very very pretty so this is the wand and then you see here it's a very pretty like just clear shade so this you can just throw on or if you want to just kind of give your lips that glow or like that nice glossy lip you can just throw that on top but I really like the shimmer in it I tell you I was in a shimmer craze this weekend and everything I bought <laughs> nearly has shimmer in it so I'm excited to try that then the next one I got was in the shade Terra. I was trying a lot of their nudes out and a lot of them were way too light for me. So I was just trying to find something that I thought would complement my skin tone the best. And this one here, I want to say, is in the shade Terra. This is what it looks like. So this really pretty nude color. Again, I'm sticking to my nude schemes apparently because that's all I got. <laughs> I can't step away from nudes as much as I want to. It's just... They never do me wrong, so I have that one. And then also got, this one is in the shade Noisette, and it's also a um, liquid lipstick. So this one is in the shade Noisette, so it's a little bit darker, still in that like mauve warm tone family, but it's very, very pretty. So I can't wait to see how those last up. I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I can't wait to try them. The next place I stopped at was Lady Moss. I needed to stock up on eyelashes, so uh, they had a three for, or no, four for 20 deal, I wanna say. So that wasn't bad. Um, they were sold out of Goddess as well. I went to the big booths first so that I could get the stuff that I wanted or the booths that had the longest line. And then when I went to the smaller ones, that's when everything was sold out. So yay me, but at least I'll know that for next year when I go, I'll be able to go to all my must haves first and then 
from there go to other boots but I got these style Bella I really love Coco lashes and goddess those are my favorite again those were sold out so I did get Bella's um, those are pretty good and then the lady recommended me getting Demi G's because those were the closest to goddess um, that they have so I really like this one very wispy very dramatic but that's the kind of lashes I love so I can't wait to use those see how I like those Demi G's and I'll probably just be ordering my regular lashes online so they had such great deals it was amazing like their brushes most of them were like two to five dollars um the bigger ones like you know those big powder brushes or like the gun metal collection those were like fifteen dollars but still not bad for morphe brushes i mean they're great quality i think so I picked up a few. The ones that I got, I got a Morphe R4 brush. So this is like a tapered blush brush. I thought this was really nice. It's not too dense, but it's like fluffy enough to apply blush. So I got that one. Next one I got is a Morphe G7 brush. This one's a very big fluffy powder brush. I needed a new one because mine is just getting crazy. Even if I wash it, the bristles just come out and it's just a hot mess. Next one I got was a Morphe R6 brush. This one I really like because it's very dense. It's kind of like a flat top kabuki brush and it's very nice. Uh, I bought a Morphe E36 brush. This one is a nice, let me get it out. This one is a nice um, small crease brush so it's very tiny but I thought this would be really good to get up in the crease if I'm ever doing like a cut crease this would be really good because it's dense and it's like works with me so next one I got is a Morphe M217 brush this is an angled liner brush so this one is bent so that it can be a little bit more precise I got this when I was subscribed to the Morphe monthly brush club and when they first this one was the first one that they sent me and when i saw this i was like what in the world am i gonna do with this like this is way too tiny and then when i used it i was obsessed with gel liner you cannot go wrong using this brush it's so so good it just lets you wing it out as much as you want you can curve it in and it's just so easy so i love this brush and mine broke so i had to get a new one i don't know if i'm just rough with my brushes or what but I'm very excited that I got a new one and it was only like two bucks. Next one I got is a Morphe R42 brush. This one is uh, like a nice dense packing brush. I was very excited to pick this one up. Next one I got is a Morphe R38, just a nice blending brush, nothing special. This one I got is a Morphe M421 brush. I wanted to pick up this one. This one was only like $2 as well because this one is a nice concealer brush and I really would like this to work for my eyebrows, like cleaning out my eyebrows, carving it out. So I'm gonna try this out, see how it works, but I'm very excited. So those were the brushes I got at Morphe. Very good, again, I said I wasn't gonna buy any brushes and I ended up walking away with some, but I'm very glad I did. They had really good sales, so why not? Next, what I have in here is uh, the Morphe Pressed Pigments. These were buy four, get one free. So of course I just, I had to stock up. They're so pretty. So they come in this little like compact. And this one I was, I love like that greenish brown color. And this was exactly that. So let me just show you how freaking pigmented this was. Like I, I died. I was like, whoa. Those are pretty. They were so freaking beautiful, so pigmented, and this just the color payoff is amazing. So I was just watching every one they had right there to see which one I actually wanted. And I ended up coming with this one. So this one's in the shade Make a Statement. I also got Bitter. This one's like a pretty green tone shade as well. So I can't wait to try that one. I got um mimosa sunday this one's like a pretty white champagne color pretty for like an inner corner highlight so i can't wait to try this one out too because this one looks so good this <laughs> this one here is in the shade champagne nights this one's more of like a like iridescent white color and i really like this one so this one i can't wait to try as well and then room service this one is another green shade I love greens. I love like doing all of green like smoky eyes so I can't wait to use those bad boys. So I can't wait to try those. So glad that they have those there. 
Next thing that I got was a Morphe lip polish, and this is in the shade oh, Ransom. This one was really pretty too. It's a very nice nude color. So it looks like this, it looks like that. Very pretty nude color. Can't wait to try it. Now for the palettes. So their palettes were $10 and $15. I stopped up <laughs> because why not? So the four palettes I got, the first one is going to be the 12 and B palette. This one is one of the palettes that I picked up. This is so freaking pretty. I love the shades that are in here. It kind of reminds me of the 35-0, but like a mini version. So I love it. The next one that I got here is the Morphe 35-0 matte palette. So my 35-0 palette is currently crusty AF. Look at it. Yes, this just makes me so happy because it's so freaking pretty and I love it and the fact that it's all matte it just calls my name now the next one I got is the Kathleen lights palette so this one recently came out with Morphe I want to say a while ago they had it there for $15 so I figured why not pick it up and it has her cute little picture back here so it says Morphe by Kathleen lights and then you open this bad boy up and voila. I mean, I love these shades here. So it's like champagne -y color, this mint green color. This one looks really, really promising. Um, and then these warm matte colors that I love as well. So everything is all up in my alley, which is why I picked it up. And again, for $15, you cannot go wrong. The next and the last thing that I got is none other than the Morphe 9N palette. So this is their blush palette. I have been dying to try this. So I'm really, really excited to have this. Especially too, because you know, if you're doing other people's makeup, which sometimes I do on occasion, this is nice to have so that you can really have something that will compliment everybody. And it's just so, so pretty. And it's compact, so I feel like I could travel with this and you know have all the shades that I need all in one. So that is it, guys. That completes my haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I, I was so happy to be there. It was such a fun experience. I went the first day by myself, and then the second day I went with my mom, and that was just so much fun. It was the best time ever. That was my first time going, and I couldn't have had a better experience. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys on my next one.